Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today guys, I am going to show you how to make an easy to make fidget spinner. But, the steps, you know, there's very, there's very few steps that you need to do to get a really cool fidget spinner. But before we start this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's aim for 10 likes, and now let's begin! So guys, what you want to do first is set your move to 0.5 and your rotate to 15. Of course, first of all, lie it down, flip it over, and begin rotating. As you see, we want to form a nice triangle in the middle, so in other words, we have to, you know, form this here. And of course, I'm sure you guys will get it. So, this is how simple it is. You lie it down, rotate it over, and then of course, press T again. Of course, four times, I think. So, if we just repeat that again. So, flip over, roll over, one, two, three, four. So, of course, we do it you know four times so we do the same again but this time another four times and then one two three and, and then another four times so easy as that and then of course set your you know match rotation on and then of course go up by another three no two rods and done and then of course you can delete the bottom ones and now we're going to do our fidget spinner, but we need something in the middle though. And yes, how are we going to do it? So first of all, we're going to, of course, place a block in the triangle, as you see. We are going to scale up, so it's like almost, you know, the same height as these rods. So. Now, of course, we scale it into the middle, and as you see, it's not in the middle. And of course, this can take a bit of time, so we're going to use the scale 0.1. So we can get it into the middle. And no, it's not in the middle yet, and now it is in the middle. Now, as you see, once you got it into the middle, place a piston down. So in the middle of that rod, place a piston and anything that's been bonded, just unbond and boom. And now we get our buttons if you want, you know, black outlines. So where is it? There we go. And then of course you just bond them in. Easy as that. Oh, stop. Please stop. Okay. And boom fidget spinner done that's how easy it is to make a fidget spinner and if you want to do you know four blades it's pretty straightforward but this one you know it's just a demonstration and of course you know you can paint them however you want and of course I'm gonna paint the gray I mean not the gray the piston black and I'm gonna keep one red I'm gonna do the next one blue and the next one green as you see and if you want to add a bit more of a look to it you know as a little hole but can't really be bothered by now and yes guys that was just like 10 steps you know scaling this to the middle which is pretty straightforward if you have to scale 0.1 once you got the hang of that you can you know do your blades and now of course once you are done you can remove them but with the rod that we scaled into the middle we're going to scale it up by, so how many from the ground? So we're going to scale it up till it goes to 0, no, 1.2. Then we're going to let it go up so it's like poking out. And of course, scale it across so it bonds in. As you see, bonding in. And once you have done that, you place a wheel underneath should have set it back to 90 but hey ho this is me and then of course make sure the wheel is in the middle so not the wheel the 
piston is in the middle, and yes it is. Voila. And now of course, everything's invisible now. And now of course, yes we can make that invisible. And if you want to, if you're making a table then, whatever. And there you go, so that's the fidget spinner done. Now it's testing it. So here we go. We now just on anchor. Well, before we do that, let's save. And of course, for some reason... Oh yeah, that's true, I forgot to on anchor. And as you see, guys, you have now finished your easy-to-make fidget spinner. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell. And I will see you next time.